And here we go, look at this. There are just so many molly. Oh my god, everything is on fire. Everyone is- why have you run in there? It's all fire. Why would you- why would you run in there? Um, yeah, well that was, um, yeah, it was a play. So this is, uh, we got one more game on Sanok after this match, then we're gonna move, be moving on to Erangel for the final game. A lot of players dropping down near boot camp. It's gonna be interesting to see what the loot density is like on this as people swarm to grab those crossbows. I don't think there's any pistols or anything. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a weirdly quiet game. I think that's what we noticed when we've played crossbows only mode before. Uh, it's just very, very peaceful and quiet, so sit back relax it's not going to be a stressful one there are mollies so there's going to be a lot of fire going on here i guess there's going to be a few machetes thrown as well we haven't got a melee only oh there goes will smith already been had a pan thrown in the face very early there mary's been slapped as well here look we've got 2v1 they're chasing mary down to 2v1 marco is on low health i think mary oh great hit from marco there we go oh one one for the road as well nice two kills on the board early uh, for Marco's team there, who are sitting very happy in the leaderboard right now. There goes another uh, Molly kill up in the top there. That is Bambaki taken down early. Has been burnt. And here we go. Look at this. There are just so many Molly. Oh my god. Everything is on fire. Everyone is... Why have you run in there? It's all fire. Why would you... Why would you run in there? Um, yeah. Well, that was... Um, yeah, it was a play. Remember, there's no vests either. And look at these guys. Susu taken down and Hellcat's on fire. Surely going to burn out? No. Does just survive. He's only got a machete as well. It's a machete versus Bankai. And that is not enough to bring to the party versus Bankai. Great kill there. Two kills on the board for Bankai and Sinister there. So, so much fire. Yeah, I think the way do we get to the end zones? We already saw people very early on having six or so mollies. Going in buildings is going to be really sketchy because any building late zone is just going to get just set on fire so, so much. And here we go. Oh, great hit on brother. He's already been knocked twice. so He's going to bleed super, super quick. Oh, my God. Dog is going to try and get it, though. He got straight in. Surely they've got to try and push that. It's a 2v1 going on here. The mollies are raining in. Surely that's going to be the end. A nice hit from Dog, though. Takes down Hirsch. And it's a 1v1. Can he get the finish here? Goes for the thirst. They've both thirsted out. Well, I think uh, Dog's teammate just bled out because they'd already been knocked twice and just bled quickly. It's Sensoria versus Dog. 1v1. Three kills for Dog here. Been popping off with the crossbow. Knows how to use it. Ralu's just been dropped there by Purdy Kitty. Viking Princess gone. And CCI next just fell to their death somewhere. Not quite sure uh, where that was. This is uh, Dog versus Sensoria. Trying to get Molly in through the window, but... Oh, Sensori, did they get caught by that? I think they just... No, they just got away with it. Just cracked into the window as they vaulted out. Oh, my God. Look at this. So close range. Goes for the pan. It doesn't do it. Going for the punching. Trying to Molly back. Sensori's mollied themselves. Sensoria <laughs> punched down by Dog and then ends up Molly themselves as it just explodes in their face. Uh, and Dog comes out on top with four kills there. So has lost a teammate early on, but four kills is going to give you... 110, 120 points or so to move forward. So not too bad. Could be better, but nice to come out of that at least with some kills. Uh, Silas grabbing a kill there up in the feed. This is Sinister and Bankai having a proper scrap with Hawkey. Again, just fire absolutely everywhere. They're all going to die. Bankai's gone. Sinister's gone. That is their team gone. Team 36 gone. Is Hawkey going to get out of there? Yeah, Hawkey manages to actually uh, put the flames out and they have got both their teammates. So Bankai unfortunately dropped pretty early there. 36th, 37th, something like that. Hopefully you can't hear me dog coughing away in the background. There goes First Lady, dropped by Silas. Uh, sorry, First Lady actually molly Molly to himself. First Lady's a man, right? We I think we've been over this before. Uh, First Lady's gone. There goes Wandays and next. So this is Spreezy and Silas. They've been trying to hold Pinan throughout every game so far. It has been their favorite drop location. And they've done okay. They're probably not as well as they would like to do. Oh, but Spreezy dropped... He's not going to be happy about that. We've got Silas is going to try and support here. There goes Spreezy. So he's, Silas is all on his own now. Swedish has taken down Spreezy. And I think this is going to be a 2v1 or a Swedish. Swedish might be on their own. Oh, great hit from Swedish. They're dropping Silas. And that is team two out there. No, there were two of them. That's Sylvia and uh, Swedish there.
very interesting to watch. Yeah, considering, so this is a PUBG partner tournament. There's two, uh, it's a duo tournament and every team is, there goes uh, Kim taken down. That's Kim and Joe Kim and John's team. Every team is made up of a PUBG partner and then they have one person they've invited with them. And that can be, they can have one PUBG pro per team. So there's a lot of very good players in here, but I don't imagine many of those comp players spend too much time practicing with the crossbow. So uh, for those who do love the crossbow memes, this is the game for them to come out on top. 29 teams remaining as we move into phase two of this game. Here we go. We got couple of teams moving up close and wait for the fire to start raining down seven mollies it's surely going to start popping off now straight out of the building they know what's going to happen they know as soon as <laughs> as soon as they're aware of them they know what's going to happen mollies are going to be popping out everywhere they look who's on i think jim's on fire over there another molly coming in it's, i think jim's got safely inside though has managed to get the med down. Still a 2v2. No one knocked just yet. Another molly come down near Ollie, but not connecting. Copter and Sigsy both dropped. And there goes Froz as well. That was big whale dropping Sigsy and Froz. Very nicely played, played with the crossbow. Taking up both down. Uh, so here's my team just switching perspectives here. This is from the same fight. We've got a 2v2. The zone is going to push them all here. So they're all going to start after thinking about moving. It's not a super late play zone. So they don't need to panic too much. But there we go. Look, Viz is trying to get zone. And if you can get the zone, you can hold that. Great hit on my team. They're taken out by Ollie. Can they drop Jim as well? It's uh, Sorry, can they drop uh, Kviz as well? It's Kviz versus Ollie and Jim here. They're outside the zone, but so is Kviz. He's not managed to get in. Misses that one. Look at this. Are there more mollies to come? On oh, my team. There we go. Going to get the finish on my team. There's no chance of the save there. Out in the blue, in the open. 2v1. Was never going to get back on his feet. So Gviz, it looks like, is trying to pull back out of there. Probably a little bit easier to fall back from fights in this game mode than the others. There's only so much range you can get on a crossbow. So uh, even if you can see them, if they're way out, then you're going to have to pull off one hell of a shot to get the finish. There goes Roly Poly and Shunk has been dropped, as well as Reggie Beardo in the feed. Load of people down at Ruins and all sorts of kills popping off in the feed there. We've got Dead Plum and Ravens here. Uh, Hugh and Ilsner. And there we go. They've dropped Levin down there. Mamino's been dropped. Reggie Beardo's been finished off. Getting pretty spicy now. 26 teams left alive. 42 players. Oh, just missed that. It looked close on Ilsner, but not enough. And Ilsner with a great hit there. Taking down Ravens. Trying to put some defensive mollies out here, which is a brilliant strategy. Love to see it. Oh, and again, a miss there and it takes the molly to the face. And then it's going to be a tough, tough one to recover from. Just mollies flying through every wind. I'm, that one just jumped over pretty much. And Hugh finishing it off with the pan thrown in the face of Plum. Very nicely played by uh, Team 20. This is Hugh and Ilsner there. Molly's only with crossbow secondary is exciting. I think Molly's and crossbow is a nice combo. It's, yeah, it's definitely, we haven't really seen something like this in one of these tournaments before. Mamino taking a pan to the face. There we go. Chinjay doesn't need a Molly. He can just throw a pan at you. Very nicely done. Mamino is gone. Kviz is gone there. Slicker just taking down Kviz. And uh, Hobbit says is, um, is just cheesing it here. And team's starting to get pushed down pretty close together. It's so hard to... There's so little audio cues going on. You just have to listen to the fire. Look, everyone's taking positions in Ruins here. Ruins is getting pretty spicy. It'd be really interesting to see the zone close down in Ruins. Here we go. We've got Spam Bly. Oh, Molly straight to the face. That's got to be it. Got to be it. Nicely done. Finished off with the pan in the end. Uh, by Shock after setting Bly on fire. And there goes Slicker and Hibako. Hibako, uh, who did very well in game number one, has been dropped. That's Alkandari's team. Nice to see them popping up some kills in the feed. Uh, so here's Oli. Oli got a nice knock on Ruby there. Going for the follow-up on. This is Shock. So it's a 2v1 here. Oli and Jim uh, teaming up on Team 16. The Mollies are raining in. And Shock's not going to be able to hold that and get the revive. There's so much fire raining down. The mollies are absolutely everywhere. They've not managed to connect to hit with Shock yet. Um, so Shock's maybe in with a chance if they can pull someone off. But it's um, it's going to be tricky. Look at this. Very close. It's, oh, 10,000 days taken in by Alkandari up in the right there. 10k days is gone. And Shock is falling back out there. Shock is going. Hasn't cheesed it too much, though. Just fell back a little bit, and they're... Oh, no, they're moving in now. They're in range, but when you've got the wiggle on at a distance, it's a little hard to hit the crossbow shots. Has now turned to face. 
Turn to face that zone is going to punish all of them. Look, they all need to go to the zone. There we go. Finally uh, managed to land a hit. That was from Jim in the end. They're three kills from Jim and Ollie in this crossbow game. Doing very nicely. 25 alive, 17 teams. So certainly a lot of solos running right now. Uh, there goes Poggers. That is the last of Team 44 has been dropped. Ruins has been pushed out by the circle here. We've gone kind of southeast with the shift. And people a little bit spread out. North's going to get a little bit interesting by the look of it. As these teams get pushed down onto the edge of the zone. Oh, look at this. Dan is just waiting. Oh, and misses the shot. Misses the shot. What's he going to do? Surely whip out a pan maybe at this stage? No, he's going to it's gonna try and crossbow it out. Going for the hip fire. Maybe pull out a molly. At this stage, it's going to be a big ask for Dan to take down a 2v1 on low health. <laughs> oh, my God. Pan to the face in the end. Just beaten down savagely by Ollie and Jim in there. Those guys have been doing very well this game. Get themselves some kills. Winning a lot of engagements. Pushing people. I don't think... I haven't seen any teams remaining in this that have got any huge kill totals like we've seen in the first two games. Maybe we've just not caught them, but I think it might be a little bit more balanced with the kills. So it may be that this game, the placement points have a bigger effect on the overall leaderboard. Although there goes Hamburg taken down nicely. A noob, I think is on, yeah, noob is on fire. Oh, it's going to be tough. And another Molly in. Surely that's going to be, it's definitely it for Hamburger. He is a cooked Hamburger now. And noob is on fire again. Noob surely going to drop. There we go. Finished off nicely in the end. Team 32 coming out on top. Let's have a little look at the spread of the land. So we've got Lil Big Whale and Alice are still going up there. We haven't seen too much from them this game, but they've been pretty consistent over the game so far and getting a pretty decent amount of kills. There goes Jim. That was Ollie's teammate uh, taken down up here. What we got going on? There's Ollie and Jim, 2v1 here versus uh, PL. Let's see what he can do. Ollie's done very well so far, but not going to be able to. It's very hard to save any teammates in a game with so many Molotovs. There we go, finished off in the end. So we got 45. This is Marco's teammate here. So we got Team Marco. Oh, nice hit from Ollie there. Gets a good hit, backs off. Uh, they've got Hobbitses up behind them as well, but. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see quite as many pinches come in because you can't really hear any gunshots you can push. You're trying to listen out for crossbow boat bolts. You're trying to listen out for molotovs. So I think it's... Uh, you're going to see a lot less of people hearing, hearing shots, hearing action, and trying to push it, coming in and uh, interrupting fights from behind. Here we go. We've got a t 2v1. This is Marco's teammate. Can't plug up against Big Whale and Alice. They've been very strong. It's not going to be an easy fight. But they've got seven kills. Marco's team... Seven kills, very, very decent for this game mode. That is the highest I think we've seen uh, across any of the teams so far for this game. Not too many left alive now. We've got Oli who is running solo. Eight teams, 11 alive. So that only leaves us a couple of duos. We've got Swedish and Sylvia. Not seen too much from them so far. Uh, there goes Wondery taken down. That's by Chinjay. Nicely done. So here's the other two duos. Oh, actually, one of them just got wiped out. That was uh, that was Wondery's team. So Chinjay. Uh, and co looking quite strong up here. So here's Purdy Curdy on five kills running solo. Very nice. Lost Taryn, I guess, early on. But Purdy's grabbed five kills. Very, very decent. There goes uh, Marco's team. They've been taken out by uh, Alice and Big Whale there. Oh, look at the bolts raining in. It's another 2v1. Trying to get himself out of there. I think he's only got one Molly left. And at this stage, there's not going to be too many Molly still rocking. Although I think this duo up here, any team left that hasn't really had too many fights right now, is going to be absolutely packed with fire. And they are bringing it in. That is Sylvia. Sylvia in Swedish. Great hit there. Oh, no, sorry. Not a hit. Not a hit. It was the reload. Just misses. But that is a hit. Takes down Oli. Nicely done by Team 38. That is Swedish. Oli with a great display there. Did very nicely, uh, but not able to overcome that situation. So Purdy here has got in a scrap. This is Alice and Whale here. Let's see who's going to do this. Another 2v1. None of the duos have really come up against each other in this late game. And they're chasing down Purdy. Trying to land those hits. But surely, look, Hobbits is just there chilling. They haven't noticed Hobbits is from behind. It's a great hit on Big Whale. Look at that from behind. They had no clue where it came from. And now it's turned into three solos having a scrap. The other duo, if they can, they're having a scrap with the other two teams. So we've got 2v2 going on on one side of the zone. Three solo scrapping over here. This has got very spicy. There are oh, some mollies still left alive. Purdy's trying to punch out and steal the kill there. That is stealing, uh, stealing Hobbit's kill there. Nice little play. That is an extra 28 points on the board. Could make all the difference. There goes Hobbit's taken out by Alice. Great play there. And Alice dropped by uh, Pedros there. That was uh, Pedros from Team 30. One of the duos. That's Chinjay's teammate. 
getting the kill on Alice in the end. Very spicy finish here. We've ended up with a 2v2v1 situation. Swedish and Sylvia versus Chin J uh, over here in this Sanok zone. There goes Sylvia burnt down. There are some mollies remaining, but it's a great hit from Chinjay. Takes down Sylvia. Swedish takes down Pedros. And we've got 1v1. We've got Swedish versus Sylvia and Purdy Kitty up still. Three solos still going now. A couple of people down on their knees. Crossbow's going off everywhere. Doesn't look like there's any Molotovs left at this stage. And there we go. We are down to just Chinjay. Uh, sorry, just Swedish. Just Swedish versus Purdy. Goes over the top and grabs it for kill number seven over the top of the rock. Very nicely played by Purdy, who was on their own for most of that game, I think, and got seven kills on their own. Very nicely done. Pans flying everywhere. There was pans everywhere. There was fire everywhere. That was a great game mode. That was very enjoyable to watch. So in first place there, uh, with a lovely finish, we had Purdy Cody grabbing seven kills, teamed up with Taryn. We had Swedish and Sylvia coming in second with five kills between them. Pedros and Chin in third with eight Big Whale and Alice in fourth with five. Then Hobbits and Mamino, Ollie and Jim. Uh, Marco's team still having another decent finish there. They're up high on the leaderboards as well. Going to look good for them. Luckerux, uh, Wondery, Suzanne, Neck, Hamburger, and Noob Salad making up the rest of the top 10. So here we go. This is the updated leaderboard after game number three. Uh, we've got three. Marco is in top. They are 200 points clear pretty much at the top. Marco's team uh, have been slaying. Doing very, very nicely after three games. 18 kills between them. A pretty comfortable lead there as it stands, but things can turn around. I mean, as we saw, those guys had a game where they got 700 plus points in one game. So, um, you know, if they die early one game and another team has a big game, things can really shift around very quickly. Uh, second place here, we've got Skimmeri. That is uh, Wondery's team sitting in second place. Uh, with just over a thousand points they've got 13 kills between them and we got walisa that's whale and uh alice uh sitting in third now after some very consistent finishes from them uh they got 979 so very pretty close behind second there uh my dreams team is again close down in fourth there 10 kills uh we've got 10,000 days not far off as well and that is the rest of the top 10